Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. And I'm sitting here having the rest of my coffee and relaxing and I thought it's perfect. That's right, Tucker. <laughs> and I thought it's the perfect time to do some meditations. My husband actually took his abuela out tonight for a little date night, which was really cute, and um, she was so excited about it. So the two of them are out to dinner um, at one of our favorite Italian restaurants tonight, and so it's just me and the boys here at home, and um, I'm gonna go get something to eat here in just a little bit. So I thought, well, I'm gonna end the day doing some meditations. So, um, I, uh, you know, I have to tell you, a friend of mine said something to me earlier today um, that, you know, First of all, I just want to say, if you are somebody that watches my Peter Does Stuff channel, I have gotten the kindest comments on that channel, and I literally sat last night and I read them. You know, and I get, I get this comment a lot on videos. People will say, this was, ex especially on this channel, people will say, this was exactly what I needed tonight, or this was, I got, like, I heard this right at the right time. And you know, yesterday I was having a good day. There was nothing down about the day or anything, but I was reminiscing a lot about my mom yesterday. And there's something about my Peter Does Stuff channel that reminds me a lot of my mom. It's just like, I don't know, they, it's just kind of, it's who I am at my core of like growing up in Indiana and just silly stuff, you know, over there. And, and I was actually thinking about this video that I wanted to do over there that had a lot to do with my mom. I was gonna do it today, but my neighbors were out on their patio, so I think I'm gonna wait because I wanted to do it outside. Or maybe I'll do it over here. It just kind of depends. We'll see. But anyway, um, so I was thinking a lot about my mom, and I went over there, and I was reading the comments in the video, and they are just, they're unbelievably kind. You know, people are like, this is such a wholesome channel. You're so sweet. You're just the nicest guy. And people are just, they, it's just, it's really, really overwhelmingly kind comments over there. And, you know, always on this channel as well. And I just want to say I really, really appreciate it because there are times that, like, I need, I, I, I need to hear that comment and I hear that comment, like, right at the right moment. And I got so moved by it last night. So I just want to say I really, really appreciate that. Um, it means a lot to me. So, all right. So let's get into today's... There was something else I wanted to say, but now I don't remember what it was. But anyway, let's get into today's meditation. I brought two books with me. I don't know if I'm going to read both of them, but I'm going to read this one first. I haven't even looked at them. I have no idea what they say. So let's read um, October 2nd. Oh, I didn't bring my reading glasses. That's okay. Well, I'll just pull it out. I'll just push. <laughs> I'll just hold the book out far. Okay. October 2nd. Try <laughs> Family friendly. Trust the unknown. I think I did this, this video last year. Look. See how much you've changed. See the difference? Oh, I know what I was going to say. Oh, I know what I was going to say now about nice comments to people. You never know when you're giving somebody a kind, nice comment. Like, maybe that is at the exact moment that they need to hear it. And um, I was talking to a friend earlier today, and um, I don't usually ever share, like, when people, like, give me compliments or, you know, like, I'm a big believer in altruism where you don't do things and, like, tell people about it. But I just want to, like, give an example of something that somebody, you could say to somebody that, like, I mean, literally, this has changed my entire outlook today. I was having an okay day anyway. You know, I went and got my coffee, and I had some stuff that I had to do, and I did a review at McDonald's, and my day was going well, you know, whatever. But I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone, and we were just kind of talking about some different stuff, and she said to me, you know, I just want to thank you because you are always my safe space. And I was like, I got, and I didn't even really know how to respond to that. The dogs are going crazy. I didn't really even know how to respond to that. But you know, like I got off the phone and then I was thinking about that comment. I was like, what a genuinely just kind comment to say to somebody, you know? Um, I don't know. There's been a lot of people in my life that I consider safe spaces. So for somebody else to consider me their safe space is like saying a lot, you know, like that's a huge deal to me. Um, I don't know. So maybe think about that today. Think about who is your safe space and uh, let them know, you know, I think that's one really nice thing that we can do for somebody today. All right. Trust the unknown. October, October 2nd, trust the unknown. Look, see how much you've changed. See the difference in your perspective. Remember all those years you were so fearful, trying to peek ahead, trying to see what the future held. Remember how upset you got. How uncertain and abandoned you felt because you didn't know the plan. Now life is taking you to a new place. A new place for you, but a place that is ancient. All along, you were not supposed to get... You were not supposed to be getting the answers about what the future held. You were supposed to be learning the magical way of trust and inner guidance. Learning to feel your way through. Trusting and committing to your vision. Your energy. Your purpose. Your place. Each day and moment along the way. 
You were supposed to be learning to allow the universe to magically unfold and trust that it would. You have been learning this lesson. You have been learning it well. See how you delight in life's magic now. The surprises, the not knowing, the app. Do you hear the dogs in the background? So what they do is they chase each other and then like when one is standing there, the other one just like charges the other one and then they start wrestling. Cracks me up. They just ate. You can hear them pushing the plate around on the floor. So anyway. <laughs> You're supposed to be learning to allow the universe to magically unfold and trust that it would. You have been learning this lesson. You have been learning it well. See how you delight in life's magic now, the surprises, the not knowing, the absolute trust in the universe to bring you your answers, manifest your visions, and help you when you can't quite see. See how much you cherish your relationship to the universe, a relationship so much broader and more encompassing, so much more vital than you could ever have uh, ever imagined before, ever before imagine. See how joyfully you walk your path, enjoying all the sights, opening your heart to loved ones and strangers, See how benevolent, uh, how benevolent it really is when you are not able to see ahead. Not knowing has taught you about life's magic. It has connected you to your source. It has connected you to yourself and to the universe. It has connected you to God. Not knowing has taught you to know more than you could ever imagine. And I really, really believe that about this meditation. Or I believe that about life and I love this meditation. You know that I think that so much is about trusting the journey. Um, that is a statement that I really, really believe in, you know, and I'll say things to friend of mine, friends of mine, and I'll say, you know, because this was what was passed on to me. Nothing that I ever say on this channel or anywhere else is anything like super wise. They're just things that have been passed on to me and they worked. And so I pass them on to you and to other people, you know, but like I'll say to friends of mine that are going through something, I'll say, you're going to be okay. Like, I know that. Well, how do you know? Because I know like you can't have the rest of your life just can't be all bad days. It just can't. You're going to have a few good days in there, you know, and, um, you have to just kind of trust the journey and put one foot in front of the other. You're going to be okay. There is going to be a day that you look back on the worst day of your life and you're going to say, you know what? Like that was a really bad day, you know, but things get better. I was actually, um, I was actually just saying this to someone the other day. It was in a cameo. Somebody asked me for some suggestions and I didn't really know the situation, you know, but it really got me thinking, you know, I say a lot on this channel that like there are lessons to be learned. And when you're look when you, when you're going through the hardest thing in your life, look up and say, thank you. Um, cause you're about to learn the most valuable lesson. I don't necessarily a hundred. I need to get honest about this. I don't necessarily a hundred percent believe that I try in that moment to do that. But I don't think that every difficult, tough thing that we go through in our life has a lesson applied, has a lesson attached to it. Do I think that you can learn from that? Yes, I do, right? Do I think that the lesson might be you're a really tough, strong person and you made it through tough, strong times? That could be the lesson. But I don't know that every difficult thing that we go through in our life is supposed to have a teachable moment attached to it. I don't know. I've just gone through some crap in my life that I look back on and I think I just, there wasn't a lot to be learned there except for maybe I can share my experience with somebody else and hopefully they won't feel so alone when they go through it, you know, turning your wounds into wisdom. Or maybe like what I realized is I'm a pretty strong person for making it, making it through that. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, there are people out there that have had it a million times worse than I will ever have it. And that's also something that I try to take away from all of that as well. But, you know, I don't, I, I do believe that much of life has learning experiences to it and lessons. I, and I do believe that lessons, everything I, you know, said about lessons and learning, I believe all of that, right? I just don't believe that everything in life has some connected lesson to it. I think there's just some sh <laughs> some crap that happens to us, you know, in this world that you can't make any sense out of. You just can't, you know? And it's like, those tend to be the things that we kind of dwell on in the world, I think. Um, you know, it's weird because I'm kind of like indirectly talking to myself right now, I think. But I think those are the things that we tend to dwell on, you know, in, in our lives. And those are the things that are really hard to get over. And maybe the lesson that we're learning is you did and you're strong and you're going to get over other things, you know. And if you've got through this, you can get through a lot worse, um, you know. And I think that uh, – and sometimes I think maybe – what we're going through is examples for other people. I actually remember watching years ago. It was actually on Oprah's aha moments. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it below. But it was 
um, where she, this woman had come on her show and um, she had talked about how her ex-husband had killed all of her children. She had four children and her husband, who was an ex-police officer, had come into her home. Like she had gone on a walk with a friend and in the time that she was on the walk with her friend, her husband had come into the home and he had killed her four children and her. And they were ages like, I think like eight to like 17 or 18 or something like that. You could hear the 911 call. It was like devastating, right? And um, she just was kind of like a shell of a woman. Like you, like you could just tell like she just was like, you couldn't even really, t like she didn't even really know how to go on and how could you, you know what I mean? And um, so anyway, she, they had her back on the show. This was the aha moment. And um, sh so they introduced her to this woman that was at home and when she was at home, she was making a scrapbook for, I think it was her son or her children of who she was in her life because she wanted her kids to know because she was planning on taking her life. And then she saw this woman's story on Oprah and she thought this woman got through all of that and she's continuing to push forward, you know? I can too, I can be here for my kids. I can stay and I can be here for my kids. And I can remember watching that and just like this chill went through me, you know? That we just sometimes don't realize the ability of strength that we have inside of us to get through things, you know? I mean, that's, you know, that saying that, uh, that, I think it's by Nietzsche, you know, that that which does not kill us makes us stronger is so true. It really, really is. And as corny and cheesy as that set, it sounds, you know, and catchphrase it's the truth, you know? And I can just remember seeing that and like just chills ran through me because I thought to myself, I've gone through a lot. I mean, I've never gone through anything like that in my life. You guys, my Lord. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Up here. Come on. Come on. What separates you two, puts you in a quiet time so you stop wrestling. But you know, like, I've never gone through anything like that in my life. You know, I can't even imagine. But I've, I've gone through some tough things. And I hope that the tough things that I've gone through in my life are evidence to other people that they can get through things as well. Just like this woman's, you know, going through what she went through was evidence to this other woman. And I, hopefully what you've gone through is evidence to other people, you know, that they can make it through too. And then what it is, is it's a great chain of storytelling of our lives, right? Of strength, of how we've gotten through some really, really tough times. And whatever you're going through right now, and I know there's at least one person that's watching this that's going through something absolutely unbelievable in their life you're gonna get through this you know you're going to and um there is going to be light on the other side and um I, i'm such a, a huge firm believer in hope you know hope is so hope is so powerful so anyway i love that meditation and i'm gonna leave you guys with that let me know what you think in the comment section below i love you and uh tucker and boo radley love you and i will see you tomorrow bye